this is Blue Star Warrior One here. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today, the title of this video is The Bible is Your Deed of Inheritance. And I'm going to read Acts chapter 20, 32. All the Bible scripture is from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Let's begin. So now, brethren, I command you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. When you are a true and pure follower of Lord Jesus Christ and you love him with all your heart and soul, you're going to get an inheritance up in heaven from your heavenly Father, God Almighty. How wonderful. Next one's Acts chapter Acts chapter twenty six verse eighteen to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. Amen, amen. Romans chapter eight verse sixteen and verse seventeen. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified together. And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. If you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 6. John, verse, John chapter 14 verse 2 and 3. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am... There you may be also. Amen, amen. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew chapter 25, verse 34. For all the promises of God in him are yes and in him, amen, to the glory of his of God through us. Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty. But as it is written, the eye has not seen, nor the ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things of which God has prepared for those who love him. First Corinthians chapter two verse nine. Whatever you do, do it heartily heartedly, as as to the God and not to men, knowing that the Lord will Lord, you will receive the reward of inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Consolians chapter 3, 23, verse 23 and 24. So when you serve God, don't be boastful. Don't boast it out on the top of the churches. Don't start doing these, these prayers out in the front of everyone. Do your prayers in, the, in your prayer closet. When you do something for good for someone... Don't let, do it with your right hand, but don't let your left hand know. Don't make a boast about it. So if, say, you you gave um, some co chocolate cookies or cake or eggs or whatever, I'm trying to think. I gave a donation, let's just say that much, from your heart to somebody. To say there is a girl named Rin, and she's, you know, desperately poor, but you give her something. Don't go boasting about it all over social media. Don't make videos about it, bragging about how you gave Wren this donation and money and food that she needed to help her and her family to survive. Don't boast about it. Take it to God and keep it a secret. That's the best way to do. Because when you boast about it, you'll get a reward from men. Of course, people will look at you and praise you and say, Oh, how great Sam was. Sam was so good. But, yeah. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. Palm, verse, palm, verse 37. Palm, palm 37, verse 34, sorry. 
I, if you hear people in the background, it's just how life is. Some people just don't give you any privacy. <laughs> how life is. I wish I could have more of it. Some days. It feels like... But just remember, you remember um, that story of Jesus with... Um, he was over the house. And there was uh, Martha and Mary. And Mary was, you know, listening to what he had to say. And, and Martha's like, I, ha I have all this work to do and everything. And she's not helping me get it done. And why won't you tell her to get up and get the, wor and get the work done? And, and Jesus said, Mary has chosen the right thing to do. And it was right. Sitting there listening to God's word and reading it is more important than household chores. <laughs> Not that you shouldn't do your household chores and, you know, do things like that, but you shouldn't put them on a priority where they're more important. And when it comes to inheritance with Christ, you put God first. Always put God first, and God will put you first. If you do things for him, if you try your best to follow his teachings, follow, follow all the works that Lord Jesus Christ did, follow the Ten Commandments, repent for your sins, love Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and soul, you won't get an inheritance in heaven. You will get an inheritance in heaven. Now, I've heard of uh, people having dreams where they've dreamt they've gotten. They have saw their mansion up in heaven or other splendors and wonderful things up in heaven. I have not, have an, I have not had any of those dreams. But just think, when you do things for, for, for Christ and you love him with all your soul, you will be rewarded. But we shouldn't be thinking about rewards, though. We should be thinking about loving Lord Jesus Christ with all our heart and soul, irregardless if we will be rewarded or not. I serve Lord Jesus Christ because I love him, and he died on the cross for my sins. He shed his precious blood for me. He shed his precious blood for me. Nothing else matters. And I could, re could personally care, could care less if I got a mansion in heaven or anything. The only thing I would want in heaven is this, a Bible so I can continue my, you know, reading it and worshiping Lord Jesus Christ in, 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 his, in the Holy Word and in praise and in song for all eternity. That was all I want to do. I could care less if I got a mansion or anything else in heaven. <laughs> so, uh, take all the Bible scripture and everything I said to God for guidance, wisdom, and understanding. Please take up reading God's Holy Word, please. Is the best choice you'll ever make if you take up reading his holy word. Well, I'll be back as the Lord leads.